forces and elasticity. Now the definition of elastic materials are those which can recover their original shape after stretching. Now elastic materials only stretch when a force is applied and energy is stored in the stretched material and this is called elastic potential energy and you'll see that potential is underlined. You can't call it elastic energy, it must be elastic potential energy. Now this is an appropriate moment to talk about force and work because when a force acts on an object it may cause a change in its shape just as a force acts on an elastic material causing it to stretch. And when this happens, work is done because energy is being transferred. Now Hooke's law is that the extension of a spring is directly proportional to the force applied to it. The more force applied, the more the spring extends or stretches. And this is up to the spring's limit of proportionality. Beyond a certain point, the spring becomes permanently deformed and it can't stretch back again. Now the spring's stiffness affects the extension. This is called its spring constant or K. F equals K times E. Where F equals force applied in newtons, K equals the spring constant which is measured in newtons per meter and E equals the extension of the spring in meters. Remember that it's in meters not centimeters. How much the spring stretches in other words. And this can be put into a lovely triangle K times E on the bottom, F on the top. Cover up the one you're looking for. The position of the other two tells you what to do. And this is the sort of apparatus that may be used to measure the extension of a spring with different forces applied. They quite often use these in exam questions. So just remember the extension is the amount the spring stretches from its original length so you don't include the original length of the spring. So for example the length without a mass is 0.1 meters but if you hang a mass on the end it now measures 0.12 meters. So the extension, how much has it stretched by? 0 0.12 minus 0 0.1. So the extension is 0 0.02 metres. So have a go at this question. A spring with a spring constant of 20 newtons per metre extends by 0.05 metres when a 100 gram mass is hung on it. By how much would it extend when a 200 gram mass is hung on it? And assume it doesn't reach its limit of proportionality. And try this one. The graph shows the extension of a spring in an investigation. Why does the line curve when the force reaches 4 newtons? And secondly, calculate the spring constant for this spring. So you have to stand on your head to check your answers.